Okay, so I'm working on the roadway that's going to be going from this lower level up to the second level. I'm using the Woodland Scenic Smooth It, and I've gone ahead and mixed up a batch of that. Let's pretty much cover everything at this point, and then go back and try to sand things and smooth things out and, you know, cut things as I need to uh, at a later time. So I'm going to pretty much put this on pretty thickly. It's, uh, you know, it's going to have to be sanded anyway. I do want to keep the sanding to somewhat of a minimum, but it's not really a big deal to sand this material since it is pretty soft. Being, being plaster, it does sand quickly. Well, I think that's all for now, and I'll uh, let this set up and then come back a little bit later when everything is, is, is dry enough and, and um, ready to be sanded, and then I'll just go ahead and use some uh, sanding sponges to go ahead and, and sand everything as smooth as I can get it and then see where things are at.
Okay, here's an update of where I'm at. I've uh, gotten the road for the most part painted. I started doing some of the road striping with the Woodland Scenics road striping pens, which I purchased. Um, I was unable to complete it though because the white pen that I bought actually leaked out all over the place when I opened it up. The, uh, the tip wasn't all the way in, and so after I took the cap off, the paint, you know, a large portion of the paint poured out, and so I was able to put some of the white striping on the uh, edge of the roadway in, but uh, I, you know, basically got half of it done more or less, and then ran out of white paint in the paint pen. So I have to go ahead and purchase another white paint white paint pen to finish the uh, the striping. But I did get the yellow stripes done, and uh, they look reasonably good. So I'm I'm pretty happy with it. Um, this is my first time I've ever tried to do reasonably good road striping with a pen, and uh, it's it's pretty hard on the curves to get everything even, you know, the whole way through. Now on the uh, the bridge section that I did again, it's it's far easier to do the straight edge and to get really nice uh, striping using the pen. Um, you know, on a styrene surface that's flat and, and even like that. But on the uh, the the row that's made with the smooth it, um, you know, it's not it's not bad, but it's not it's not perfect. But yeah, I think it'll be more or less good enough. And overall, I think the road came out uh, pretty well. I'm going for an asphalt surface here, and that came out reasonably good. Again, I'll have to do uh, striping on this side, and then the uh, edge will be filled in with some gravel and so forth once uh, I complete that. And these will be uh, the bridge supports for the tracks that are going to be going over this section of roadway, and I'll be putting in some guardrails along each, uh, each of those, as well as around the curve sections, and then working on doing some some road signage at some point in the future once I have more of the scenery done. I have, I'll basically be putting, um, you know, all the various uh, needed road signs for the curves and for speed limits and that kind of thing uh, along the side of the road once I have some of the surrounding scenery work in place, uh, you know, in, in those areas. But overall, the road came out pretty well. Pretty happy with how it looked. I had to actually move this one uh, uh, support here over a little bit because it was intruding into the lane too far. Uh, when I measured it with the car and truck that I had, and so I'll have to adjust that. But uh, otherwise, it's it's reasonably good. Also, it's going to be the case that the uh, the bridge clearance in this section won't be quite high enough from what I wanted, but it won't be too bad overall. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So thanks for watching. Bye.